now Britain's first cashless street is open for business, but only for one day. Shops on Beach Road in South Manchester aren't accepting notes or coins, only plastics. Guys, Becky Johnson is there. Becky, what if I just want a coffee? Well, you can pay for it by card and you could pay for a newspaper by card. In fact, anything, uh, payments on plastic being accepted at all the shops here on Beach Road. It's quite a trendy place to be. It actually looks like we could be somewhere in the Mediterranean today, doesn't it? It's so warm and sunny with the cafe culture. Uh, and these stores, uh, some of them quite reluctantly actually, have agreed to take part uh, in this experiment today. If we quickly ask some of the customers, um, excuse me, sorry to interrupt your lunch, uh, do you prefer to pay by card or by cash? Uh, usually by card, to be honest. Make, why, why is that? Uh, just keep track of your money. Um, if you, on your bank statements and everything, so know where you're spending it rather than if I draw cash out, then I usually don't know where it's gone, to be honest. All right, thank you very much indeed. Well, it's customers like that gentleman there that are sort of fueling all of this. In fact, card payments have gone up by around 14% in the last five years. Let me bring in Mark Latham from card payment provider HandyPay. Now, you've actually organised all of this and you've persuaded all these stores to take part. And as I said, some of them quite reluctantly because it costs businesses. The news agent said for every payment on debit card he accepts, he has to pay around 17 pence. So how can you sell this as a concept to businesses? Well, that's right. I mean, um, it, it does cost money to process cards, but I think um, our main message to small businesses is that um, consumer spending is on the up. We've just heard from the gentleman there that he prefers paying by card. I think that's a message that's echoed from um, lots of consumers on the street today. And if you're a business that doesn't take cards, then you're missing out on a huge amount of, of spend. Um, in terms of the, the specifics, one of the things that... Um, businesses like the news agent can do is to start processing contactless payments because contactless transactions on a debit card are often processed at a discounted rate to a normal debit card transaction. The, really the onus is on companies like yours, the card payment providers though, to cut those costs for businesses if this is something that's, that's going to be taken on board. So what other things can you offer them? Are there flat rate deals for example that they could, could take up? Well, there's various different types of pricing structures, which um, really is where HandyPay came into existence. I think many businesses signed up with their bank perhaps 10 or 15 years ago when they started trading. They're probably paying the same price now that they were paying then. Um, and HandyPay is all about cutting those costs and saving businesses money, often up to 40%. So th there's two ways of looking at it. One is how much can you save by switching provider to somebody like HandyPay? And the other one is how much extra money can you take if you start processing card payments when you don't today? All right, Mark Latham, thank you very much for joining us. So I think really uh, the message here, obviously customers saying it's convenient for businesses, it's costly, but one re retail expert I spoke to did say he foresees that we could be living in a completely plastic payment society within a decade that by then cash will become redundant. Becky Johnson, we appreciate that. Thank you. We were Sky News this Saturday afternoon and coming up. No need to advertise it. We'll take a look at the money that's been lost following England's World Cup exit. That's next.